Okay, so here's what we got it going on. These aren't flashing, which is just due to the camera. You can see this is the original LED that went bad. Like burn up the circuit board pretty good right in this spot. So it had melted this backing plate a little bit. So I swapped it out, just troubleshooting the strips and moved it down to this location. But because the lens was all burnt up and pitted and browned and blacked a little bit, I used a Dremel tool with a little sanding disc and smoothed out all the dark spots. But now it messed with the refraction. So I think I'm gonna have to use some hot glue to tone that down a bit since you can see it so bad. Still need to figure out why you can see the LEDs through the diffusers so easily in the previous video. There seems to be a sweet spot from the camera, from the LEDs, where you don't see the flicker. Um, but you can see the ones I did change. They look pinkish. This one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm not sure if it shows up well too good. But they're, they're kind of pinkish compared to the more bluish original ones. And don't repeat my mistake, what I did here. Um, I just folded this whole sheet back while I heated up to remove the strips to replace the LEDs. And when I had it folded back using a hot air gun to soften the adhesive, it uh, melted the plastic. So I've made all these relief cuts for the bubbling. I'm going to try to hot glue them down and see if that distributes the light more evenly instead of having all these shadow spots you can see in the back. So you see all these dumb razor blade cuts that I'm going to use hot glue and hold everything down. To see how it works out this is a tv someone's getting rid of so it's for my personal use uh, not to sell or for a customer or anything but uh, that was a dumb mistake so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to get that this replacement part from anybody um but the previous video you can really see like you know, this led and other leds this one um so because the lenses come off easy and I was out of super glue. I just put a little dab of um, hot glue to hold all the lenses in since once they pop out, they don't stay in. Those little black plastic spots. So I'm thinking maybe the hot glue is refracting the light maybe a little odd. This one didn't get replaced, but this one really shows up through the screen. And so, so do some other ones. Um, almost as if I had the diffusers reversed or backwards, but there's only one way they can go on. So I'm gonna have to play with that. The white sheet here that goes down first, I flipped that both directions. So I don't think that's directional by any means. Um, but some of those are probably polarized. So maybe I somehow did flip those. I'll have to play around with it, but I'm also getting dark spots due to this back piece being warped. Like that little shadow there where I have a little hot glue holding it down will show up. I guess I didn't realize how crucial this back white sheet was. Um, there's some other slits I made just to put some hot glue down and hold them down. So maybe if I figure out the diffusers, that won't be so noticeable. But the shadows look worse here through my camera than in person. But it gives you an idea what the hell's going on. So definitely remove that white sheet fully. Don't be lazy. Remove all your standoffs. Get that sheet out of the way before heating anything up. Most people probably know that, but my dumb fault. <laughs> 